Hello, you welcome once again to our lesson series on teacherturban.com. In case you haven't joined, please check it out and be part of us. In this lesson, we shall be looking at the spectrometer and how it is used in the measurement concerning light. So, our aim today, by the end of the lesson, I hope that each one of us must be able to identify a spectrometer, name the parts of the spectrometer, and then describe how the spectrometer is adjusted before any measurement is taken on. Um, the spectrometer looks like this. Uh, it has three major parts, basically one, the collimeter, the turntable, and then the telescope. So the spectrometer is basically summarized like this. It is made up of um, a collimeter whereby you have a source of light. Normally we use white light. Then we have the turntable where the prism is placed. And then on the turntable we have the screws, A, B, C. Those ones are very important as you should be seeing later on in the video. And then the telescope of course, plus of course the observer E. So in case the spectrometer is to be used in any measurement, the first thing to do is always to adjust it. In other words, to make sure that everything is working properly, and then you use it later on. So let's begin by looking at how the spectrometer is adjusted. Then we shall continue with everything later on. A spectrometer is an optical instrument which can be used to measure the angle of a prism, the angle of minimum deviation, refractive index of the prism material, or the unknown wavelength, etc. Let us now try to understand how a spectrometer works. When a source of light is kept in front of the spectrometer, image of the slit obtained will be blurred and shows a parallax. To rectify this, the prism spectrometer has to be set in three steps. First, setting the telescope, then setting the collimator and finally setting the prism table setting the telescope. The telescope has to be set for parallel rays. The telescope is turned towards a distant vertical object and the eyepiece is moved in and out with the help of a rack and pinion arrangement of the telescope. This is carried out till the image of the distant object is well focused. The telescope is thus set for parallel rays. This setting should not be disturbed throughout the experiment. Setting the collimator. The telescope is turned so as to bring it in line with the collimator. The slit of the collimator is now illuminated using a source of white light. Initially, the height and the width of the slit are adjusted to obtain a fine slit to minimize any error in measurement. In the collimator, the distance between the slit and the collimator lens L1 is adjusted so that a clear image of the slit is seen through the telescope. The collimator is thus ready to provide a parallel beam of light. These light rays fall on the objective of the telescope. A real inverted and highly diminished image of the slit is formed at the principal focus FO. This coincides with the principal focus FE of the eyepiece lens. Here, the cross wires are fixed. Thus, the final magnified image of the slit is observed through the eyepiece of the telescope. The image of the slit now obtained is clear and without parallax. The spectrometer reading for this direct ray position is taken as delta 1. Setting the prism table. The spectrometer experiments are always done by keeping the prism at minimum deviation position. It is defined as the position at which the light is deviated least by the prism. Let us understand how to find the minimum deviation position of this prism. The white light from the collimator is incident on one face of the prism. 
and emerges out through the other face after refraction. Now, the telescope is turned towards the refracting face until the image of the spectrum can be seen through the eyepiece. On rotating the prism table gradually, the spectral lines also turn. This is because on rotating the prism table, the angle of incidence and hence the angle of deviation delta change. During its rotation, for a particular position M of the prism, the spectral lines become stationary. On rotating the prism table further in the same direction, the spectral lines start moving in the opposite direction. The prism table is rotated back to position M, where the telescope and the vernier table are clamped. Now using the tangential screw, a particular spectral line is made to coincide with cross wires. This is the position of minimum deviation. The spectrometer reading for this position is taken as delta 2. The difference of the two readings, delta 1 minus delta 2, gives the angle of minimum deviation, delta m, for the mean yellow line. The angle of minimum deviation is different for different colors. Using this value of delta M for yellow line in this formula, summary. Firstly, the telescope is set to receive parallel rays. Then, the collimator is set to provide parallel rays. The prism is set in its minimum deviation position. So after having watched that video there, we can then come to a conclusion that um, whenever using a spectrometer, it must be adjusted first. And the steps are basically three. Adjust the telescope first, followed by the collimeter, and then the turntable. Those are the three steps that we do take. So in summary, in adjusting the telescope, the aim is to make sure that that the light from a distant object, in other words, the parallel light incident onto the telescope, the image must be formed or must be focused onto the cross wires. And to do this, the steps are also uh, listed here. Number one, adjust the eyepiece first in order to focus the cross wires. Adjust the eyepiece first such that the cross wires are clearly focused. Then once that one has been achieved, Face the telescope objective towards a distant object and then adjust the objective lens. Adjust the objective lens such that the image of the distant object is focused onto the cross wires. In other words, in case you remember, uh, a telescope is basically made up of two, two lenses, two convex lenses, the objective lens and then the eyepiece, and then the eyepiece. So if parallel light is coming from a distant object, it must be focused at a point. And that point where it is focused is what called the principal focus of the objective. Now, in order for the image of the distant object to be focused onto the cross wires, it means that this focal point F must be the same as the principal focus of the eyepiece. In other words, light coming from this point here, from the principal focus, is refracted and goes as a parallel beam like that. So in other words, in order for us to achieve this, the first thing to do is adjust the eyepiece first to focus the cross wires. Then, Adjust the objective such that the parallel beam entering into the lens there is focused onto the cross wires which are positioned at the principal focus of the objective. So that is how we adjust the telescope. Then 
In order for us to adjust the collimator, the aim of this is to make sure that the collimator is giving out parallel light, it's giving out a parallel beam of light. And likewise, to do this, we just need to adjust the collimator lens position. And in so doing, the aim is to make sure that we see the cross wires of the telescope. So, in case you see the cross wires clearly, then it means that since we know, since we already know that the light entering the telescope is parallel, then it means that the collimator is now producing a parallel beam. And therefore, in case that is achieved, then we can simply say that at this point, the collimator is adjusted. And this means that the parallel light is being emitted from that collimator there. And then the last one, number three. So in leveling the turntable, the steps followed are also easy. Um, we simply make sure that first of all, the collimator and the telescope are in a straight line as seen before. And then you position the, you position the side X, Y, position the side X, Y in such a way that the origination or the original path of light between the collimator and the telescope is at 90 degrees to the side x, y. And then afterwards, and then afterwards you turn the telescope. So you turn the telescope through 90 degrees, meaning that the light coming from the slit of the collimator hits the side x, y of the prism and then is reflected towards the telescope at an angle of 90 degrees. So in case you don't see the cross wires in the field of view, in case you don't see it very well, then you simply adjust the, the scrutture. So you do the same for the side x, z, until when the side, until when the slit is seen in the field of view, of the cross wires. If that one has been achieved, then the turntable is said to be leveled. You can go through the slides to follow the notes about what you've been discussing here. So that is all about um, adjustments of the spectrometer. So with this, I'm stopping here on this. Let's meet again in the next video with some examples, numerical examples, and then after we shall be doing an exercise. Please always try out those exercises to check your understanding. Whenever you answer an exercise, you can check on the hint, or you can check, you can check on the preview, and then check where it went wrong, and then you correct yourself. Otherwise, thank you for watching. See you again.